is back. I took a short nap. I recovered from being viciously attacked by a velociraptor. I fell off a cliff. I had to swim. I had to find my way back to where I had died. The researchers didn't... No, I'm sorry. The paramedics didn't take my stuff. I was resuscitated. And I am back and I am ready to finish my rudimentary shelter. I am ready to get this roof up so the next raptor that comes along is going to have to work for its lunch. I intend to make myself hard to get. Sorry, ladies. You want a door. A doorway is the entrance to everything. Doesn't matter whether it's your dreams or the place that you're hiding your GPS locator. You gotta put it somewhere. And you can't be picky in the moment you can't be picky you gotta do what you gotta do we're gonna get this house built we are gonna lay the foundations of some of the most compelling and arguably immersive research that has been done in the social sciences in the last several decades I am here risking everything. I am here braving certain death on a moment to moment basis because I want the world to know what it means to be the guy with nothing and a dream to be everything. That's not an easy ask. It's not an easy path but it is a path worth taking if you're willing to put your heart and soul into it and you're willing to accept the possibility of your mortality you have to come to terms with your mortality if you're going to be here doing what I'm doing day by day step by step moment by moment I'm in danger I can fall off a cliff I could get attacked by a vicious voracious hungry animal in an instant and I don't I, you don't I don't I didn't know what hit me you wouldn't know what hit you it would have been like a thunderbolt from the sky it was for me. I f first I thought I was... I don't know what I thought, but it was insane. When that thing came... Well, I, did, did, I think I hear it again. That is not good. I don't even have a door built yet. I think that there is a raptor, which is an apex predator outside my already crewed four walls. Is that it? Okay. Okay. That is an Avi Raptor. Peaceful, docile, timid. But its footfalls, they sound similar to the vicious murder beast that just came by here. Not even... Ten minutes ago, hey there, buddy. They, they, they love eggs. They will eat eggs. If you don't keep your underwear on, they'll mistake certain things for eggs. And, again, 
I want this stream. I want this research in this streamed format to be as family friendly as possible. So let's just. I, I want to keep the innuendo and the innuendo. You know, sometimes you gotta have some humor to lighten the mode, but we're gonna keep it true. So, mom and dad, if you're thinking about whether or not you want to let your kid watch this for school purposes, if you think that it would be good for them to see, you can trust that I'm going to be keeping it fairly decent. There's a lot of grim realities. Some of the people I run into and talk to, depending on their backgrounds and how long they've been here, how, how the base their morality has become. I don't know what might be said or what might happen, but I do believe that what I'm doing here is something that many young people can draw inspiration from as a guide and a model to what they want to become. In a sense, what I want to be is a beacon, not only to transferring understanding of people, of humans, to other adult humans, but to kids, to, 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 to young people, to know that they don't have to fear their neighbor just because they build spears or guns or spike fences with bits of meat still clinging to them. You don't need to fear another person if you understand them. Worst case scenario. Worst case, your neighbor is a cannibal. That's bad. But if you understand why he's a cannibal, maybe you can help him learn to eat steak. And if you can help him learn to eat steak, beef, beef steak, let me clarify. If you can help him learn to eat beef steak, you've got one less cannibal out of the world with out ever having to use the death penalty and to me that is an incredible major win just for the progress and the development of humanity in general because quite frankly if we're killing each other over what we prefer to ingest I mean yes ingesting someone is bad most usually if you, let's, okay, I need to talk about the differences between cannibalism. There are what is called exocannibals, and there are what is called endocannibals. Exocannibals eat you out of malice, they eat you out of spite, they eat you out of anger. Endocannibals eat you out of respect. They eat you because they love you, and they don't murder you to eat you. So, Let's say you had a, a cannibal friend named, I don't know, Jeffrey, and you died. Jeffrey loved you. Jeffrey loves you. He eats you. It brings him peace. That's what's going on for endocannibals, so not all cannibalism is bad. And yes, I do think there are cannibals where I am. It would surprise me. A lot of people in these environments do not know how to eat. Imagine being trapped in a place where you don't know how to eat. That's scary. You know, these animals that I'm coming up against, that I'm having to face off with, and that are sending me within an inch of death, they're scary. They're terrifying. But not knowing what or how or where to put food in my mouth... That's scarier. That's a, that's a more terrifying truth. Truth comes in doses. It comes in, in levels of intensity. Not knowing how to eat, what to eat, when to eat, where to eat. Scary stuff. That, that's... It scares me talking about it. And I don't scare easily. I want to build a box for my house, but I am I have too much weight right on me right now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to drop this wood and go get some more wood before the termites eat the wood I dropped. 
and I'm going to go pick up the wood I dropped. I will not be able to walk anymore, which, knock on wood, hopefully it won't be when the rabid murder beast comes back. As per Murphy's Law, most likely it will. But I'm going to have... It might be naive. I might be naive. I might be foolish. But sometimes you gotta just trust it. You just gotta trust it. Now, I can move a little faster, but I'm, have, I'm carrying so much right now that I can barely run. I can... My uh, uncle would call my jog when I first started jogging when I was still known as Tiny Twinkie. But Tiny Twinkie, Uncle, if you see this, look where I am now. Where are you? Huh? I'm here, I'm building my own home of, out of absolutely nothing. And you're sitting in some retirement home, probably in Florida. What does that say about the caliber of my manly, of my masculinity versus yours, huh? What does it say? I'm not better. I don't have unclaimed baggage, so to speak. I have a roof. And the rain is no longer on my head. I don't, I mean, yeah, I guess my uncle has that too, but... I'm kind of dumb, though. I will give my uncle that. I'm kind of dumb. I built wooden foundation instead of a wooden box. I needed a box. I needed a chest. I needed a place to put my belongings so that I can accumulate wealth. Yes, by building this hut... I am just reiterating a, maybe another version, a proto-version of the capitalist paradigm. What, what was that noise? Was that, is that a predator? Because if it is, it's a very large one. See, I, I can hear deep breathing in the jungle, in the rain, in the stereotypical moment for a T-Rex to appear. I, I can't see it. I don't know what it is. My only consolation right now is that the ground isn't shaking. Okay, I think it was just a parasaur. Or a triceratops. Okay, okay. <sighs> Imagine you think there's a T-Rex at your doorstep and you don't can't see it. T-Rex is something you should be, you think you, be, you can, should be able to see. Not always. They blend better than you think. And they're wily. And they will wait. They have levels of patience that are unnatural. What do we need for bolos? What do I need? I say we, but it's just a way of, I don't know, making me feel like I have friends. We need stone. I need stone. To build some bolos and immobilize some larger, though still small, animals. And possibly gain a better source of meat and protein and hide. Okay, we're going to build a bed. When you have a bed, when you have a physical address, the paramedics are able to get you up and running a lot faster. They don't have to just leave you on some part of the beach somewhere. Always close your door behind you. I would say pin code it if you have aggressive neighbors. You can uh, that help that helps keep them out a little longer. Um, they could still bust in with stone. That's why wood is good because you can't get in if you don't have metal. Metal is a little trickier at this stage of the game for early stage refugee like me and 
the, the, the guy we left under the rock. Which, I'm thinking about that guy under the rock right now, and I'm wondering, we have this beautiful house right now. Do, I'm wondering if I should bring him inside. If I should extend the kindness and the humanity of helping him to have shelter. <sighs> he might wake up while I'm asleep and murder me. What would a real anthropologist do? I hear those birds in the distance, and I think, what do those birds have right now that I don't have? <sighs> Besides the ability to just fly away from their problems. They have friends, and they have family. I think we could make a friend if we brought him in here. If we brought him to safety. I... It It's risky. I'm, I'm a little worried about it. I'm a little worried about attempting it. Um, I don't know who he is. He could be one of the smugglers, for all that I know. Could be. Those two creatures are usually docile. I don't know why they're why they're currently seen fit to fight, but hey. I understand it. That tree there is also probably providing my house cover. Visually. Visually. So I'm gonna cut down this smaller tree. I hope he's not that angry. I hope he's understanding of my presence. Because... I... Cannot move at the moment. I cannot move. I think it was protecting its baby. I think that's what it was doing. So, such an adorable creature. You know, and it just, it protected it with its life. It did what it had to do to protect its child. That is something that I respect quite a bit. Got a beautiful glade here, beautiful open, I th beautiful clearing. I think there's metal nearby. And I think, I think that that little, that, that baby... Look at it, it's basically like Bambi. It's mother over here, mama, is doing everything she can do to keep little Bambi safe. I hated it. I hated it that Bambi had to have the life he had because his mother was vulnerable. I don't... It's, 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 it's Bambi's core for me, a core memory core. Primal. This mother, I don't think that she can truly protect Bambi from the world. I'm going to kill her. It's gonna happen. Ow. Okay, she is strong, but I, Bambi must be protected. Bambi, come here. No, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yes, I killed your mother. I'm sorry, but I, I want you to be safe. I want you to be my friend. We... Oh. <sighs> I have a Bambi. This is going to be a Bambi redemption arc. I'm going to protect this little one. Yes, I'm going to cook Bambi's mother, but... I'm not going to do it in front of him. I want to shelter him, and I want him to grow up to not have the trauma that re that that primal that prime Bambi had to have. These are these little ones are herbivores, so therefore they eat berries. But we're going to bring our little one back to my home 
This is going to be the beginning of a Bambi redemption arc. This is going to be part of my research. How is it that an animal responds to its keeper if that keeper murdered its parent? Does it see me as friend or foe? Will it love me even when I get to a point that I don't love myself? Because, I, I mean, I'm being honest, killing its mother, that, that was really hard. That was not easy, but I think that the research value it's going to bring, I think that the hope that it's going to bring me, the kind of mutual bonding that me and my potential neighbors and fellow refugees are going to be able to have over this little one is going to be tremendous and something that can't be underestimated. I'm going to raise this child as my own. I'm going to protect it from danger. You don't know what it's like to be a parent until you're a parent. That's, the, uh, that's something that is very, very true. I want these stairs to help me enter my home. The Bambi. A little Bambi. I really do love you. I really, really do. I'm going to try and make you a little spot where you can stay. And you can stay out of the elements. Under the stairs. Come here, Bambi. Come here. Come here. Come on over. It'll be hard for a raptor to get you here. Come here, child. Come here, come here. You are going to be the cornerstone of my research endeavors. You're going to you're going to be everything. Little Bambi. It wants to be cared for. <laughs> I don't know why this just this makes me feel like I'm taking a sad story and making it better. To quote the Beatles, Bambi was a rough, sad, very raw, real thing. And I, I want this little one to grow up. To have a better life. I don't want it to have to go through a regular Bambi did. Living with an old woman that really couldn't give him the kind of care and kind of attention he needed. Um, having to live with the death of his mother. Luckily, I think I killed the mom before he's able to remember. And I'm going to make sure that it's not a core trauma that stays. We're going to get him to stay where he's at. We're going to use simple whistle now Bambi should stay oh no no Bambi just seems to care about us so much that it just wants to be with us. And I get that. I want Bambi to be with me. Well, I'm going to let Bambi follow me. And while we go and find uh, Bob under the rock, I want that man to survive. I don't want that man to die. Wait. Where'd, where'd Bob go? Is that, is that the rock where, where I left him? Uh-oh. 
I thought... I thought Bob was nearby. I really hope that raptor didn't eat him. Here I was, all ready to share my f four walls with someone. <sighs> hey, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on. I, n I don't think Bob's dead. I don't think it's happened. Can't be gone. Had he woken up and ran away? I didn't even get to talk to him. Meeting people, meeting new people, is the cornerstone of what I am endeavoring to do here. I really wish he'd been awake because we could have talked. I could have attempted to understand him. Where? Could have. Wait, no. Which rock? Where did that refugee go? Does he. Oh, he. He was blending in. He's fine. Oh, his name is. I, I still don't know, but I'm going to take Bob here to safety. It is customary to refer to refugees as Bobs. It, it can be derogatory yet when it's said by an alpha, which is someone that is in a very structured, not structured, but very materially wealthy and advanced tribe. They will often re refer with contempt to newcomers to the island as Bobs. When it's being spoken from a person that has more than you to you, yes, it's very derogatory, but when your fellow refugees, fellow, fellow new refugees use it on each, to use it between each other as a term of kind of endearment. We are going to put him right here so that he is safe. I feel really good right now. I have not only built a shelter, four walled roofed shelter with nothing but the sweat of my back and the skill of my hands. I have done all that. And I have given someone else in a similar situation as myself a place to live and a place to survive. I believe that this man is going to live to tell another to live to see another day and I do not think that he is going to murder me I have confidence I have faith that he is going to be honest and that he is going to return the kindness that I showed him, I showed him in a way that is going to bring us a very deep and long lasting friendship when you hear something, close the door. I believe that this is the start of something special. Something that... I'll be able to tell my grandkids, because I believe that I'm going to meet my grandkids one day, I'm gonna, that, I, that I will have them. I believe that. I have confidence. I have confidence that nature will see me through, that providence will be there. When you build your fire, if you're, if you're at night and you have a house, go ahead, light that fire up, cook that meat. 
Bob's gonna be warm now. This feels really good. You know, just a few moments ago, not moments, but not long ago, I was attacked by a murder beast. I fell off a cliff. I did what I had to do. <coughs> but now I have a home. It's it's crude, it's primitive. I get it. Now but now I have but it's a home. A home is the walls and the people that are inside it, but it's also a place you go to not die. Really anywhere you go to not die, you could call it your home. You don't even have to bring in all the all the sentimentality of the people inside it. I have a box. I can keep things of my own. I can accidentally eat poisonous berries. That's bad. I can put my fiber in there. And I truly believe that this is the beginning of groundbreaking, very important research. I want to see if I know how to build a sign because I want to leave a message in case uh, Bob wakes up. I want to make sure that he's alright and that he knows I'm not going to hurt him. I, I haven't imprisoned him. I haven't done anything like that. Where is the wooden sign? It's something that anyone has access to. You just, you got to have the know-how. Obviously, you got to learn, learn it. Spike walls are important, they're good things to know, as well as ladders, so I'm just going to go ahead and learn that right now. The game has wooden sides. There we go. A wood billboard. I think there was a sign as well. We don't need a billboard. Sorry, I'm getting... I am getting tired. This has been a long day. I've achieved so much, but... There's our sign. Need a little bit of wood. There you are, Bambi. Need a little bit of wood. I, I think I'm gonna put a uh, a spike enclosure to keep Bambi in. Cause I try to I try to get Bambi to stop following. What is that? It's a it's a very small monkey. Mr. Monkey, how? Look at that. That's such an adorable creature. So cute. So, so cute. <laughs> There's a lot here that is truly beautiful. So much. So much worth living for and experiencing here. But let's focus on the sign. I, I, I'm going to have to get some rest before uh, I can consider building... Bambi's enclosure. As, uh, as infants, so many animals, just they need to follow you. They need to be close to you. And I'm out in places where there could be more murder beasts. I, <laughs> If I'm being honest, I am. And I don't want Bambi to get murdered. The story, that wouldn't be a cool story. That wouldn't be a redemption arc for Bambi, because Bambi's got to be the one who lives. The caregiver, me, that, that's a sort of expendable position, a sort of, yeah, it's fine if you go kind of place to be in, but if 
Bambi dies, that's the end of it. It's all over. I'm going to build some wood foundations because I can. And I want Bob to be able to rest his, rest his head on something solid, something nice. Not the soft ground filled with wriggling, jiggling, jittery bugs. I want Bob to have something beautiful. I'm even going to make us a wood wall. Why? Because I want Bob to see something good. If there is one thing I can do, I want to make a friend. I want to have a friend and I want to be a friend to whoever I can. That was frightening. That got my blood pumping a little bit because I wasn't used to the Avi Raptor making that call. I I have a very keen mind, a very keen sense of hearing, and I'm used to most of the calls and the sounds of the island. I've I've come here on shorter graduate school level excursions. <sighs> but there's still so much I don't know. There truly is. We're going to cook a lot of food. I want to have a feast. Feast of celebrations. Not a feast of mourning. This is happy time. Alright. Source of protein. Sustenance. When you have a fr your rudimentary structure up, you want to make sure your door is locked. But I'm going to set a pin code so that Bob can get out if he needs to. And we are going to make it 420. We're going to, well, I guess it's four digits. Um... So we're going to clear that pin code. We're going to set a new pin code. And it is going to be 8... No. 888. Eight, eight. I ate meat. That's what it's going to be. We're going to put up the sign. We're going to leave a message. What am I going to say? I'm going to say... Hi... Broski. I... Saved you. Please... Be... My friend. Friend? Door code is eight eight eight. Be safe, homie. This is hard to paint. Except. There we go. Hi, Broski. I saved you. Please be my friend. Door code is 888B safe, homie. I believe he's going to wake up. He's going to see this. And he's going to want... He's going to want to be my friend. He's going to want to be a part of this adventure that I'm on. I believe that. I 
I am confident. There he is. He has wood. Imagine that. You get here, you know nothing like this guy. You fall asleep on the sand. And you wake up in what is essentially a palace. This is a palace. It really, really is. Oh no, is that sign blocking? Oh. Problems. Problems to be solved. Not anger. Not with anger. Not with frustration. I'm just going to have to redo the sign. Going to have to demolish it, sadly. Let's just hope we have enough wood to build another one. We do. Some things work out. Some things have a certain sort of symmetry to them. Yes, I made a little bit of a mistake placing the first sign. So now I'm going to put this one in such a way that it's not going to block me or Bob inside. Alright. Say the same thing, basically. Hi. Broski. I saved you from being Raptor Kibble. K I K Kibble. There's a two B's. Kibble. Please be my friend. Don't kill me. Door code is eight eight eight. I love you. All right. Hi, I think that's an even better message. I like that one a lot more. Hi, Broski. I saved you from being Raptor Kibble. Please be my friend. Don't kill me. Door code is 888. I love you. Alright. I'm going to get the last foundation built. Always close your door behind you when you're surviving. You never know when someone's going to try and sneak in behind you and take your stuff, especially once you have valuable things. I don't feel that what I have yet is all that much worth saving, but, well, Bob definitely is worth saving. I don't want anything happening to him. But, as far as my particular personal possession that I've accumulated... It's all expendable. Because after all, you see what I've done here today. I am a master survivalist. I'm not saying that just to toot my own horn. I am tooting my horn a little bit, but there's not a lot of people that could do what I do. If we're being real, I am doing some of the most dangerous, some of the most grueling, some of the most difficult kind of survival survivalist work that there is. I just built an entire house in a matter of hours, minutes. I didn't have Home Depot. I didn't have Tar I didn't have Target, Lowe's, any of that consumerist nonsense. I was able to get it all done, to get it all up there. And I did that. That was all me. 
I have done amazing things with just my brains and my sheer determination. I believe in the power of a can-do spirit. I believe that whatever I believe that you can do whatever you think you can do if you do what you think you can do. That is something that I live by. That is my truth. That is something I believe all people should aspire to. Words of wisdom to hold in the heart. That's what I believe that is. I don't want there to be a thatch wall right here. I want I want this to be a wood structure. I want Bob to be safe. I want him to know that someone put the work in to make his survival a reality and a, a real possibility. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure this happens. And uh, as some, uh, anyone that sees this record, that sees this research, that just watches from start to finish what I say and what I do, has probably noticed that I'm a wealth of words, I'm a wealth of knowledge. Moments like this, I'm, I, I'm getting weak. Building this house is not easy. I need some sleep. But I'm doing. I'm sticking with it. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm getting it done. Because it's not just me. I have Bob. I have Bambi. And they're depending on me to make sure that I protect them in this very hostile and very unforgiving world. I want to make sure that that happens. I want to make sure they wake up to that beautiful sunrise we saw earlier. And I want them to feel safe. That might sound corny or like I'm just like projecting my need, my savior complex onto some people that I don't need, that may be murderers or murderers. Or I believe in the essential goodness of man. I believe that every man in his heart is an angel. And that given the choices, the right choices, he'll be someone that, that every man is a man that gives back. Because people will say, you made good choices. I believe that some people have good choices. And other people don't. It's not about personal responsibility well that's always a component but it very much is about the, the hand you were dealt at the very beginning of it all our home is going to be a wood home it it's a house built well maybe not on a rock very close to a rock. Our home is strong. Our home is going to stand the test of time. And that's something that I believe. I believe that there will be generations because of me. Alright, we're going to have to reset that door code so that Bob can get out if he needs.
and we're gonna trust the fate. We're gonna trust that Bob wakes up, sees this, and it's like, oh wow, this guy generous. He cares. He obviously wants something good and something better for himself and for me. <sighs> Alright, Bob. You rest well. You rest beautifully. You have dreams. And don't let those dreams be dreams. Dream dreams that wake you up give you hope. Dream dreams that are beautiful and wonderful. Because I believe that I found you on that particular beach at that particular moment for a reason and that it wasn't just fate. You are a beautiful man. All right. I'm going to get some rest in this beautiful house. The work and labor of my hands. And when I come back, maybe Bob will be here. We don't know. We really don't. But uh, this is the uh, ending of my third research log. Surviving the island. Studying dinos and tribes for science. I hope that everyone that sees this remembers, is reminded of their own inner strength. That my strength strengthens others. That's what I'm, that is the prayer of my heart. Pop out.